shopping yesterday, just a little bit, and got quite a few little skincare items, and I bought some things online, and wanted to show you both of those things, so I thought I would do that. I actually was going to film my April favourites today, but I've only got one, and that does not make Toffee's top ten, so... I need another nine products and I don't have them, so I'm just going to do this haul instead. I hope you don't mind. I went to Liz Earl. There is one in my local town, which is brilliant, which means I don't have to pay for postage. This is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. I picked up a couple of these because I run out and I like to pick a couple up at times, so I know I've got some in my drawer if I run out. And my big one is lasting me just a little bit more but it's getting light I can feel it so I just wanted to get some more as backups with this I actually got a free little sample of the cleanse and polish and a muslin cloth which is good because this means that I can take this like on holiday like or weekends away at friends houses and things like that so that's really fun especially if you're going away for like a week or something don't really want to carry this in like hand luggage and luggage space you know I also got the Liz Earl Gentle Face Exfoliator as a free gift. When you purchase items from them in the store, they write down the amount that you've spent. And then after you've completed the card, I think there's like eight, eight slots, eight or ten slots on there. And I completed mine yesterday and they add up the total amount of money that you spent there. And then you get to pick a free gift from that certain amount. And then that amount carries over onto your next card and so on and so on. You get different lists for the amount that you've spent, so the more you spent, the better the gift, I guess. When you build up the loyalty, they give you better gifts, which is cool. So this is my first one. It says it gently slough away dead skin cells and impurities. It's got eucalyptus, cocoa butter, and fine jojoba beads. The girl said it was really good for using before masks, like it helps to improve it up to 50% or something like that. So that's really cool, because I've been using a lot of masks recently, because my face has been terrible. That's kind of why I went on a skincare binge. I also went to Space and K and I think it's really cute that they've started doing these little ribbon things. It was a bit annoying because it took ages for them to tie it and I was kind of in a rush. So I just went to pick up a, another Clarisonic brush head. This is just the sensitive brush head. The one I'm currently using is almost done with and that's the last one that I've got so I just picked up another one for when that one is ready to be thrown away. They just got this back in stock and I was so excited because I've wanted to try it for ages. It's the Malin and Goet 10% sulfur paste, which is an active drying lotion for spot prone skin. This is very exciting for me. It's intended to be left on overnight and the formula is appropriate for oily and spot prone skin. It helps kill the bacteria that may cause spots. It's got salicylic acid to help in exfoliation and camphor, which smells lovely, I love that stuff, which helps to soothe and it's safe for all skin types. My skin is generally quite drying. I do get a lot of blemishes and my skin is pretty sensitive to changes in water, changes in temperature, changes in air, changes in diet. It's horribly annoying. <laughs> so I wanted to get this to see if it actually worked with the hype and also because if it does work with the hype, amazing. This is the pot that it comes in. I'm not gonna shake it or anything which is why I've taken it out of the box previously but you get like a little powder and it's like a liquid and you dip a cotton swab into it, into the powder and then you lift it out and then you apply that directly on to your spots for blemishes. I used it last night and it smells so good, I love the camphor smell and I feel like it has helped but I think I need to experiment a little bit further to see how it goes. But yeah, hopefully this is going to be the answer to my prayers. I also went to the body shop. If you have a love your body card thing, their loyalty card thing, it was 30% off for yesterday and today, the day I'm recording this. It might not be anymore by the time I upload this. Hopefully I'll upload it tonight and you guys can see. So I actually saved £15, which I thought was really good. And then I also got a £10 off voucher at the end of my receipt. Can't really see that. This was the first product I got. I absolutely love this. I saw it, I smelt it as soon as I walked in and I was like, yes, I need to get some more stat. <laughs> this is the Early Harvest Raspberry Body Scrub. Don't see the early harvest thing, but I'm guessing because it's quite in season at the moment, early harvest being because it's like the beginning of May. This is Raspberry Body Scrub and it smells amazing. It looks like jam. It works so well, I use this all the time. It's great for your legs, especially if you shave your legs. 
it's good to scrub to make sure that you don't get ingrown hairs because A, they hurt, B, they look ugly, and C, no one wants that. So, you know, scrubs all around, people. If you are a fake tanner, like myself, if you are self-tanning at home or if you're going to a salon or getting a spray tan done, you do need a good body scrub, not to take it off, but to prepare your skin for tan. This is a really good scrub, I love this. Can't rave enough about it, it smells amazing, love it. I picked up another tea tree pore minimizer. I have been really enjoying this stuff. I think it actually does help my skin, especially as a barrier before applying makeup. And I do quite like the smell of tea tree and I feel like it does help the skin. I picked up the seaweed mattifying moisture lotion. I've been using this for years now and I do really like it. It's got SPF 15. I use it every single day whether I'm wearing makeup or not. It's a really, really nice moisturiser. It's very hydrating. Because it's got the SPF in it, it's very, <clears throat> it's got a lot of, what do you call it? Moisture. It's very emollient. That's the word I was looking for, emollient. This is the Nutriganics Smoothing Night Cream. I use this every day as well. If you've been watching my past skincare routines, you will have seen these products all well, because I do use them a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then I just picked up another fragrance oil. This is the pomegranate and raspberry one. It smells so good and I just like to have a nice smelling room so I like to burn oils. I think oils fragrance a room a bit more wholesomely than candles do. Candles are a little bit too burny. And I mean, you have the candle there burning the oil but the oil just diffuses amazingly well in the heat. I also went to Boots and picked up three of the Conditioning Nail Polish Remover from the Boots own brand range. This is £1.20 per bottle, but it was on three for two, so I picked up three because I was actually just going to buy two, and then the lady was like, it's three for two, and I was like, well, I'll just grab another one then. And then this will last me for quite a while. If you follow me on Instagram, or you just know me, then you do know I love doing my little nail art, and it's always useful to have more nail polish remover so that you can paint your nails more. <laughs> yeah. The next thing I want to show you just came this morning. I'm so excited! My new Kebs. I love, love, love them. These are the Champion Coral, Bright Coral I believe, with the Gingham laces. You do get plain white laces with them as well, so you do get two sets of laces, which is so cute and I love these and Taylor Swift is wearing them in the promotional image and she looks so good with tan and knees and she's got some cute coral shorts and I totally have some cute coral shorts that would go with it. I'm a Swifty and I love these and it's my birthday and I treated myself. So I've got some Keds and these are my first ever Keds so I'm hoping they're nice. I love these. I hope you like them too. I picked up some things from the Gailey Hicks website because it was like 40% off code and I was like, hells to the year. I needed some new sports gear because summer is coming up and I'm gonna get fit and healthy. It's all gonna be good. And first I got these cute, cute shorts because I needed some new shorts. They're not too tight fitting. I love the way that there's a little bit of air breathe here and they kind of look very awesome. <laughs> they make your butt look good and they're in a dark gray and they say GH Sport, which is really tiny. So it's just like a little tiny logo, so it's not too obvious, and I like that about clothes. And the material is amazing. It's like a special elastic -y material. It's really soft. All the sportswear comes with these little tags that say 360 stretch and dry fast fabric. So it's good for sweating, because they're gonna dry faster. When you wash them, they'll dry faster as well. And then the 360 stretch is good because it's gonna fit your body really nicely. And then I got a new sports bra, and I just wanted this one because it was bright blue. They had like pink ones and stuff, and I was gonna get a pink one, but I already have a pink one. I do not have a bright blue one. I have a navy one, and a black one, and a coral one, and a red one. I actually have two pink ones. But I don't have a blue one, so I was like, blue, yeah. And again, you've just got a tiny little logo in the corner here. What I like about the back is you've got this little mesh thing, but the back is really cool because it's got three strappy things. And the middle one is kind of sparkly. And my battery's going to run out, so I'm going to run through this really quickly. This is a sports bra with a top built into it. I like the sports bra, it's really cute. The back is really flowy, and it just sort of opens up like a butterfly. And I also got the same thing in pink, which is right here, because I thought these tops were really cool, so I got a pink one as well. 
Again, it opens out. My battery is going to die, so I'm really sorry. I'm rushing through this. And I got some cute pyjamas as well. It's just like a little shirt, and it's got little tiny whales on it. So cute, pink little shirt. And then I got the little matching shorts to go with it. They do have trousers, but I wanted to get the shorts that matched it because I wanted summery ones. So they're so adorable, aren't they? So cute. And I love the little green bow to match the whales. That is the end of my haul. I'm going to wrap this up really quickly because my battery is dying. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this haul. If you've got any opinions on any of the stuff that I've bought, please let me know. If you want reviews, etc., again, let me know in the comments. I try to respond to all the comments that I get, so if you leave me a comment, expect a reply. If not, send me another one and I will definitely reply to that. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you again really soon. Bye! The gingham is actually orange and not and not coral which is really annoying i hope you guys don't know what this piece thing is i'm gonna trip over again aren't i ah! righty ray sequins in my hair and it's gonna be good that's just gonna run out i just let it die let it die and i actually was gonna film my march favorites my april favorites they do have well i picked up another one oh, and oh that's a bit of fluff it's got a raspberry on the QR code, that's cute. Whoop, it's a raspberry on the QR code.